Hey, this is Brent with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nine drawer dresser that we're gonna bring back to life. So follow along. All right, it probably looks good from uh, from where you're at, but this thing, it's got a little nicks, glue, scratches, it's even got little sticker things on top here. It's gonna be a mess. So, <laughs> I'm just thinking about the process of sanding this thing down, how much work it's gonna be. But, with some good sandpaper, it's not gonna be that bad. First thing we're gonna do, remove the hardware. We're gonna pull the drawers out, see what the subframe looks like, make sure there's nothing broke or anything like that. From there, we're gonna sand the piece down. Now, what my thinking is, is that we're going to sand the top down really nice, get it down to bare wood, and this edge here, get all that taken care of. We're gonna stain the top, paint the base white. That's what we're thinking so far here. But, if this doesn't sand down very well, well, we'll be painting the whole piece. And we'll probably stick with white, unless my wife comes out and makes me change it to a color. But, <laughs> we'll deal with that at that point. So, we've got some handles that are bent. We'll try to fix those. All of our hardware is here, so that's a great sign. So let's get it started taking apart. Alright, the subframe looks good, drawers are all done, right, and since the, the hard work's taken off, the uh, tracks are all good, so we got lucky there. Let's we'll start sanding here. DeWalt sander, 80 grit sandpaper. I'm going to try the top, uh, and then I'm going to work my way down. On the sides here, on the base pieces, there was a veneer piece that had uh, been broken up a little bit, so what I did is I just chiseled that off, and I'll sand it smooth, and you won't even know since we're painting it. That, that that there was uh, a veneer piece there. It's all already smooth, so nothing nothing too crazy with this piece. Nice and heavy, heavy drawers. It's a really nice piece, so we're gonna make this look really nice for uh, whoever buys it. Alright, we have sanded it down, vacuumed it, and wiped it down so it's all uh, dust free basically. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our mini wax dark walnut stain on it. I've got my wipe on rag and my wipe off rag. It's probably over 100 degrees right now. <laughs> got some shade here, but this is going to dry pretty quick. So we want to make sure that we're following one line so it doesn't dry in different layers here. So let's get started. All right, we got everything ready to go to paint. So today we're gonna use our prime, prime and paint by Bear. It's uh, like pure white. So we're gonna do two coats over the whole piece. We'll do the drawers first twice, then we'll start on that frame. Hopefully it doesn't rain here, so let's get started.
All right, we've got it painted twice, uh, antique white. So what we're going to do is just give it a nice little scuff up. Now, some of you like the solid white. You can stop here, start putting it together, waxing it or polyurethane it, whatever you want to do to seal it, if you want to seal it. But here at Vintage Statements, we're going to scuff it up, give it a vintage look. Uh, going to use old sandpaper and just go over it. I think today we're just going to do more of the edge, just give it a slight scuff and uh, go from there. So let's get started. Here it is completed an antique white uh, with a dark walnut stain top. The uh, end result, well, as you can see, came out pretty good. I really like these farm style looks. So if you like this and many of our other projects, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and leave a comment. Tell us what you think about it.